What's up, everybody? This is the East Chicago Sports Talk, Michael. Back at it with an NBA video. If anybody, you know, wants to tune in for more basketball content, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you are new to the channel and you want to follow more basketball content, I do recommend you hit that. Uh, subscribe and bell notification all about basketball. Now, I just do want to talk about Giannis Adedekumbo. Now, I want to remind every Milwaukee Buck fan this. I have no personal hatred towards Giannis. I don't. Because of the simple fact that I don't generally hate him. Because he plays for a team that I do not like. I do not like anything that's in Milwaukee or Wisconsin at all. I don't like anything that's in Wisconsin at all. And I want and I want them to like burn and burn and piss. But the simple fact that you guys only have one ring is an accomplishment by what Giannis has done for y'all. Because let's be honest, Giannis should have won at least four rings by now, or five to be exact. But there is many times Giannis has choked winnable games. He choked against the Raptors. He choked a 2-0 lead against the Raptors. He um he would always I think he would always lose to LeBron when he was on the Caval I think he when he was on the Cavaliers, if I'm not mistaken. Then you then last year was um the loss against the the playing team called the Miami Heat. And then another game where you also lost you you lost to Boston many times. You also lost to Miami, I think, when when they had Jimmy Buckets. I mean let's call let, let's call it what it is. Giannis is a choker. And if it wasn't for Kevin Durant foot on the line then Giannis would not have that ring. He will, like I said, I even said that the the Giannis going to the finals was not that big of a winning the finals was not that big of an accomplishment because of KD's um, foot being on the line. When Kevin Durant, I mean Kevin, Durant, if Kevin Durant's foot was on the line, the Bucks, then Giannis would never win another chip. Milwaukee fans, you have to hold Giannis accountable at some point. And honestly, it's probably time to move on. And it's not like it's anybody's fault. Bro, you guys lost to the Pacers. Granted, I don't think the Pacers are, are that bad. But according to everybody, the Pacers are not that good of a team. And somehow they won the series against y'all and they were not even favored to win. So, I mean, and and I, I don't want to hear Giannis is never healthy. I mean, th that's the problem. Giannis is never healthy. Availability is the best ability. Well, there's your problem right there. Giannis is never available. That's the whole point. He's never available. So, to use that, oh, he didn't play the series? Well, that's the problem right there. Is he's never available. And let's be perfectly honest. It has to come down to a point where we he, they have to move on, and you don't. But and to be honest, the the idiotic thing was you fired your head coach and you brought in Doc Rivers, who's known for choking big leads. And correct me if I'm wrong, it is reported that Giannis put in a word to hire Doc Rivers as a head coach. That is honestly stupid in a nutshell to, to have Doc Rivers. Doc, he, Doc couldn't win in L.A. He couldn't win with the 76ers. What makes you think he, he'll – or he? I think – didn't Doc Rivers, like, coach the Suns at one point? I, someone correct me if I'm wrong about Doc Rivers' coaching history. But the hiring of Doc Rivers basically – and – it was reported that Giannis put a, put in a word for hiring him. You really think you really think you're winning another ring with Giannis? Let's just be perfectly honest. I'll tell you the same thing I told you with 
uh, 76ers fans. You really think you're winning a uh, championship with Joel Embiid anytime soon? It's not going to happen. Granted, I think Giannis is better than Joel Embiid, hands down. But the Bucks have to move on. Like, you're not you, – this is not going to happen. What you had against the Suns is never going to happen again with Giannis. I'm sorry. That's the truth. Giannis is just a regular season MVP but doesn't show up in the playoffs. Injury or not, he, st- he doesn't show up. And people bring up that championship run like it matters. Okay, Kevin Durant's foot was on the line when he hit that game winner. Trey Young was hurt. And you guys face um, the Suns that that choked a tune that are, are trash majority of the time. So there's no excuse. There's no excuse why... Y'all should have won at least more rings than you already have. But anyways, that's my thoughts on Giannis. Let me know in the comment section down below if you agree about my opinions about Giannis. Then Akubo, I do think that Milwaukee seriously needs to move on from Giannis. But like I said, let me know if you agree with me. As always, thanks for watching.